Cancer, amazing Cancers. Welcome to Gemini and Scorpio Tarot. Thank you for clicking in to see a girl in another one. I'm going to do your money reading. Everything about your finances, what's coming in. That's not that one. Let's start with your major. Cancer, so glad to see you. Subscribe to your girl trying to grow. When we reach 1,100 subscribers, we're going to give away $100. If you want to enter to win, uh oh, it's come out right away, can so we don't even have to wait. If you want to enter to win, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, and comment. Win one hundred dollars. So win dollar sign one hundred. If you don't want to subscribe, that's okay, cancers. Just go ahead and subscribe to your girl as a favor to me. I appreciate you in advance. So we draw the hermit. The hermit. Think about everything financially right now. Make no move. Stay at a standstill. No movement when it comes to decision making on money that's going out. So anything that's a good and ready to be dispensed, it's a no. It's a no till you figure it out. It's a no. It's a no. So let's see. It's just going to have to be a no. At least not right now not right now all right let's see angelic self you're gonna have to give careful thoughts to how you use your money right in this period cancers all right let's see what angel spirit has for you when it comes to your money okay angelic self. anything financial that okay still need a few more so we get a full picture, angelic set. Okay, ooh, ooh, ooh. all right, all right. Full picture of cancers. Uh, all right, we'll go with that. There you go. All right, let's get started. Ooh, this comment ever read pretty much. Ah, oh, it's the first one. I have the wheel of fortune four. It's the first one. All right, all right. Oh, yeah, 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 That is beautiful. Oh, this with this is not good. See, that's why you have the hermit. That is why you have the hermit. Because that's not. Oh, that's a good thing. That's ooh, this is beautiful. Okay, all right, last one here. Ah, oh, man, okay. This one here is something. Okay, let's get this together. So, the first thing you have is the two of wands, the high priestess. And remember, you have the hermit. So the hermit with the priest of the thumb is coming. The three of cups. The not good five of swords. But wait, wait, you'll hear about it. You'll hear about it. The ten of wands. The ace of swords. It's coming. Give me, give me a chance to get through it. The three of wands. So you have the two of wands and the three of wands. So, okay, some transition is going on there. All right, okay. And then the queen of swords. You're going to have, it's going to be a moment of truth for you, Cancer. Moment of truth. All right. Then ten of pentacles. So beautiful, beautiful. The freaking best wheel of fortune. Oh, no, 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 no. Wheel of for you are a lucky lucky one but you're, you're coming up the death man the death with hermit Ooh. ah knight of swords and since you have the queen of swords and the five of swords and the ace of swords with the all of those swords here it's a moment of truth for you you're going to have to look deep into this. So let me tell you what's going on with your money, your budget, your finances right now. First of all, before you make an, a move, think about all of what you're going to hear here and take time to make any decisions monetary-wise that you're planning on making, especially if you're planning on making a big purchase or investing into something that's not going to give you an immediate return. So with the two of wands, you're just pretty much at, 
a stage where you feel like you have enough to go traveling, go have some fun. Um, you're looking out at what you have, what to do next. I've ventured out, I've done little gigs, I've done little businesses, I've done little, um, any little ventures that you, you, you have, right? Be, different things. And you're just ready to start something. You're looking at what the possibilities are. What can you grow next? What can I expand into next? What you can, what the, what's the next move? Because you feel like you have the world in your hand. You feel like you master what you're doing. You feel like you're good at what you're doing. It's just coming in. It's, you're just reaping the benefits of your work. And you feel like it's time to venture out into something new while having fun all at once. It's, you have the... Um, the high priestess here, which is just cautioning you with whatever you're doing, because it comes with the hermit, whatever you're doing, take your time and mull it over. You let your sharp intuition and your intellect kick into place to make, help you make the decisions you're making, not from a place of, you know, make sure you're making a, a, a decision that is solid and that's beneficial to you. Then you have the three of cups. There are people that is in your energy that will want to um, celebrate your, with you by using your money to do the celebration. So whether you're planning family events or um, outings or gatherings or yeah, you're traveling to family for the Christmas or for Thanksgiving or whatever, you're the one forking out the funds for that. So think about that how it's going, how much is needed. So you're not overexpending, you're not overusing, you're not cutting yourself short, especially when the holidays are finished and now you need to catch up on your bills and responsibility. Then you have the 10 of wands right here beside the five of swords. With a combination of that, you're just tired, complete. Some of you are stressed out and tired to the bone of just not having enough, fighting for your money, um, whether it's with your spouse or a partner or someone you live with, someone you're committed to, or so just fighting over your money all the time. And you're just tired of it. You're just, just, you just feel like this, I'm done. This is too much. Um, you're always just bickering and battling over how it's used, how much of it is used, where it goes, how much to go where, who to budget, who to play what, who to contribute, how much, who is doing how much versus how, uh, it's just always a conflict, always a fight, always an argument, just no one coming to an agreement how money and money spending and money issues ought to be. Remember, money is usually the root of many marriages problem and it causes, it creates such havoc in, if you're not careful on money planning and having some um, some agreement how money is going to be used in your relationship, it can create a disconnect and even break your relationship apart. Then you have the Ace of Swords, this moment of truth, because with the Queen of Swords here, you have to now sit down and make some budgetary plan or sit down and say, hey, this is what money I have, what's coming in, what's going out, what will should take care of bill. This is I have for emergency fund. This I have planned for savings. This I have planned for the kids or for family or for doing that and just come to a moment of truth. Can I afford something? Can I not afford it? Not because you have some savings or some extra in the bank or some investments or something that you have um, put tucked away that mean you can afford something. Right now you're trying to spend on whether it's luxury for yourself or travel or family or friends, gathering celebrations, all of that partying and you're wondering, can I afford this? Think about it with a hermit and with the, the high priestess. Think about it deeply. Don't make any swift decisions. Don't boast, be boastful. Oh, I can do it. Oh, I will take care of it. Oh, I got this. Oh, I'll pay for the party. Oh, I got the all drinks. Oh, I got... And then you're taking on all this burden. You're taking on all this stress. And it is really affecting you. And maybe one of you are better at budgeting than the other. And the other one is fussing at you all the time. And it becomes burdensome because the other one is like, you're spending too much. You're giving too much. You're being too generous. You're partying all the time. You're using all money. You're giving your family or your friends or you're, you're just doing the most with it. And they're just, at this point, it's just become too much of a burden. So it's for time for a moment of truth to sit down and consider it, think about it, get into your thoughts, 
um, get into your hermit mode and, and make some changes where that is concerned. And here comes a three of um, ones. And that is why the two of ones and the three of ones here, because you're transitioning. Some of you are just tired and you're making a plan. You're like, I'm going to plan this out. I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm moving in a different direction. Where do I go now? I'm ready to change. So what direction should I go now? And with the 10 of pentacles here, a lot of you in the energy just have so much. You've worked so hard and you have come to a point where you have just benefited from your hard work, from your, your you have mastered your trade or your career or your business or you know whatever gig or whatever um hustle you do and you've get, gotten a lot of money from that you have more than enough you're enjoying it you're relishing it you are you're flaunting it you're good at just earning you just know how to pull some you just know how to go get your money back um with the wheel of fortune it's so lucky for you everything you do turn cold everything you do turn go everything you do turn into gold so you're very lucky where that is concerned and for some of you it's just saying the burden of lack the burden of not having enough the burden of paying debt um being in debt can't pay your debt whether it's student loan or other debt other loans other um you know responsibilities that you have that that real going to turn into your favor that burden is going to be released just be patient and allow that to come continue doing what you're doing and don't give up then you have the death it's just saying yes it's time for some of you to make big time changes big time changes in your budget big time changes in how you spend big time changes in how you save big time changes in if you're not working to get out there and get some income flowing big time changes in if you are just stuck paying bill to just budgeting enough so that you understand this is for my bills this is for my and when are your responsibilities done i'm going to save this instead of using every penny and not being able to stay ahead you're always behind or always just right there struggling catching up you know um paycheck to paycheck and then finally here knight of swords some of you in the energy just not holding on to your funds at all you are get as soon as you get it it as a matter of fact it doesn't even touch your pocket before you spend it as soon as it comes to your hand it passes from hand to hand one hand to the next hand and it's out the door you don't have time to keep your money because you're always spending it in advance and so whether you borrow funds and as soon as you get some money you have to pay it back or you're juggling here as soon as you get so as soon as you get money it's out your hand and that's gonna have to change with the death because it just means that you will never build and grow um your money and be able to secure your funds if everything is always an expenditure if everything is always going out if there's no budget if there's no rhyme to your or reason to how you spend money um but luck is in a lot of you all favor and you guys are going to learn something from all this struggle and all this stress when you change it and you finally have your money, you're going to understand how to budget and how to keep it and how to make more income from it. And so that is really good. So lastly, let me um, pull some more tarot here and see Angel Excel. What else is in the budget or finance of cancers? What else is in the budget or finance for cancers? There we go. There we go. All right. There we go. Oh, it came back out anyway. All right. All right. There we go. You have justice here. You have justice. Let me pick them all up. So I can show you the, oh, you, 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 I love that. I love that. Let's go with that. Okay. All right. Let's go with this. The three of wands. So a lot of you are just not budgeting properly and you're having a struggle. 
disappointment after disappointment when it comes to money some of you lose your job some of you lose the, the any source of income is just not working out for you and everything you try is just seem to be going to dirt but with the the wheel of fortune the luck is about to spin in your direction tough it out hang in it it's coming cancers but a lot of your experience in job loss right now or just not having a way to earn an income and everywhere you apply or everywhere you try to get some fun it's a it's a disappointment it turn it's like a door shutting in your favor in your face all the time queen of cups and some of you on the other hand man money is just a part of your everyday life you know how to make it you know how to secure it you know how to grow it it's just something that you're just very good at very lucky at you feel blessed by it and you're secure you're very secure and you know how to manage your money very well you're mature and um very um money intellectual there you're bright with your money four of pentacles some of you have very little and the very little have you holding on to it you're not doing anything with it you're not making any movement with it you're just hanging on to it because you're afraid to lose it so it's just they're stagnated and you have the higher offend oh my gosh some of you are very religious and giving your money to religious churches and so on and you may the hat can't tell you what to do with your funds. I'm just telling you what the cards are with the hermit here. Think about how you're dispensing your money because this this person, this particular cancer is giving a whole lot to the church or to some form of um, um, uh, non-profit. You have the chariot. Some of you really, cancer, that is so you. This is so you, cancer. Some of you really is into... Um, Figuring out more about your money and your life and figuring out how to borrow, how to budget so much spend. A lot of you are, um, been through it. You just been through it all. And now you're like, you know what? I've done this. I've gone down this road. I'm not going down there again. This is the direction I'm going. This is the actions I'm taking and nothing is going to change that. You're just steadfast and steady now with your, your money and what you do and how you handle it. Then you have the darn impress. Some of you have secured your funding in a way where um, whether your partner or your wife or your hubby or whatever the case is, the person that you're with is just feeling so nurturing and so secure about the, the amount of money that they, you're spending on them. They're just so gracious, so grateful, just just in the, somebody spending on somebody, man, making them feel really good and special. So if you have someone special in your life that you're dispensing that money on. All right. Then the two of swords, one, another sign, get it. With this two of swords, you have to be really careful. Some of you are just blindly spending your money frivolously. You think you have it all um, right now and you feel like, you know, I'm not short of, of anything. I'm not wanting for anything, but you spend it buying. You don't know where it go. You don't know how much of it go where. And then before you know it, you're dwindling it out. And that is why the Knight of um, the um, Knight of Swords are here. Yeah, it's a moment of truth for you. Don't spend it as quick as you get it because then you're going to find yourself in need. The Knight of Wands, same thing. The Knight of Wands came right there again. The night of what you're burning through your money like fire, man. It's like throwing it in the fire. You're burning through, you're using it really rapidly. The Ace of Cups is just a renewal of your money that will come through the death just through through a, a major change that you're shifting and changing your mind about money, how you think about money, how you spend money, how you earn money. And with all that shift and mindset and mind change, this is just a renewal here, a new gift of just knowing how to budget, how to work with your money, how to save, what to spend and all of that. Temperance, be patient, it's coming. Be patient for those of you going through it with the wheel of fortune that's going to turn in your favor. Just be patient, it's coming because temperance, especially the high priestesses here, both of them, you guys are just going to be good. Just give it time. Ten of swords. Some of you are highly, highly disappointed with someone who has borrowed money from you and had no intention of giving it your back. And you're finding it difficult 
getting back your money and they it's like they just stab you in the back they're not giving you back your money and you're stressed about stressed out over it then justice that will come in the form of those who cheat your man or those who treat your your money wrong or doing wrong in a relationship where money is concerned and finally the three of clubs oh some of you are just see the three of cups come twice some of you just just planning a straight out decked out christmas straight out lights candles gifts christmas tree some of you planning such a beautiful holiday with family and friends and children and being generous and you're the one paying for it just remember because the ten of wands is here just remember that can become overly burdensome if it's too much you're footing too much of the bill and then after the, it, it's the holidays is done and gone and you check your pockets check your account it's you'll you'll find out that you're over budgeted for things you're overuse your um funding so just be careful of that because this came in twice that means you're planning the biggest party the biggest celebration the biggest show off to your family what you've done for the year what you've earned for the year how you came into this amount of money with your work and your smartness and your great business ideas and you know you want to sh uh, sh sling it out uh, yeah <laughs> this is this is what i got <laughs> so i'm trying to tell you cancers this is a good read for you for some of you who are struggling it will change for some of you who are not struggling but have it just be considerate of how with the hermit how you spend it remember some of you giving it through donation and through the third church and so on look into how that's going some of you have just a steady focus and a healthy healthy monetary budgeting plan and you just settle then you're responsible and know how to budget your money some of you are going to suffer a little bit of disappointment and heartbreak and job loss and just not being able to have the income you need so make sure you're planning ahead how you're going to get by if that um, happens to you so much love much respect this one empresses and queens Thank you for being here. Subscribe to your girl and enter win $100. Like the video if you want to enter for the $100 giveaway. If not, just subscribe to your girl. I upload every single day and I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe, cancer up. Subscribe, cancer up. Subscribe, cancer up. My empresses and queens, thank you so much. Bye.